Good morning. Uh, we are in the middle of a deposition involving Ambassador uh, Hale, uh, who is the third most senior official at the State Department and the top uh, career official at the State Department. Um, so I'm going to have to keep this uh, brief. Um, but first of all, I want to uh, thank Ambassador Hale for, um, for being here, for obeying the law, for following the lawful uh, subpoena that we issued. Uh, we wish others uh, would show the same courage and dedication to the law that Ambassador Hale is demonstrating here today. Um, I want to uh, let you know, as you may know already, that we will begin our open hearings uh, in the impeachment inquiry next week. Uh, we will be beginning with the testimony of Ambassador Taylor and Ambassador Kent uh, on Wednesday, uh, and we will have Ambassador Yovanovitch testify on Friday. These will be the first of the open hearings. And I think you will see um, throughout the course of the testimony, not only their testimony, but many others, um, the uh, most important facts are largely not contested. Uh, we are getting an increasing appreciation for just what took place uh, during the course of the last year uh, and the degree to which the president uh, enlisted whole departments of government in the illicit aim of trying to get Ukraine to uh, dig up dirt on a political opponent, uh, as well as further conspiracy theory about the 2016 election that he believed would be beneficial to his reelection campaign. Uh, so those open hearings will be an opportunity for the American people to evaluate the witnesses for themselves, to make their own determinations about the credibility of the witnesses, but also to learn firsthand about the facts of the president's misconduct. Uh, along those lines, uh, today we will be releasing the deposition transcript of Ambassador Taylor, uh, so people will have the opportunity to read about that deposition as well. Uh, and what Americans will see from that transcript is what they have seen from the others, that the GOP claims to be locked out, prohibited from participating, unable to ask questions, um, are simply false. Uh, in Ambassador Taylor's deposition, as indeed in every deposition, the Republican members have had equal opportunity with Democratic members to ask any questions they would like. Uh, I think you will see in the transcript what a dedicated uh, public servant Ambassador Taylor is, uh, someone who graduated from West Point, uh, someone who served in Vietnam, someone who is, I think, performing another vital service for the country uh, in um, relating the facts that came to his attention, the very disturbing facts that came to his attention. Uh, so we move forward uh, with the open phase of the impeachment inquiry. We still have some remaining depositions to do, uh, which we'll be conducting over the next couple days. Uh, and um, with that, we are going to head back. Thank you.